Darren, you said last week you had a lot of work to do yeah. this week. Have you got the response from the players you were hoping for? Yeah, they, they, look, they're, you know, they're a good group and they work very hard. And we just miss them. When I look back and how angry I was Saturday, what was it? I, I look back and try and think what I was angry about. And the only thing I was really frustrated about, rather than angry, was uh, was the chances that we mm. that came and went. And um, <clears throat> and again, you know, I think the biggest source of uh, frustration or anger is when the expectation's not met and when Rhys Murphy normally walks through once you know even twice we normally expect a goal don't we so um, him and him and others um, so I, I was dis- you know I was disappointed and frustrated by that but of course we are we're, we're mm. human beings um, but no they're listen they're, they're always wonderful in training they're wonderful to work with and that's why they're you know that's why we've kind of Got to where we have at this point, and hopefully we we kick on a uh, you know from here on out. Yeah. So has the the break, if you like, for the FA Trophy? Is that a good time? Is that coming? A good time? For... It's not a break. No. Um, but a break we, from the league, I mean. Nah, but we we want the, we want to win things, you know. And I want to win things. I want to be thirsty for for winning. This is why I take Radstock away in the Somerset Cup. I want to win. Um, and Saturday, I want to win as well, just because it's a. It's a different competition. It's the same group of human beings that, are, that we're working with, and you know we know that we've got to um, we've got to improve lots of part, lots of bits of our performance. Um, but the one thing we haven't had this year is a game really where it's just been missed chances, and that's why I think Saturday took us by surprise because you know with the with the quality that we have in our attacking ranks, not just at centre forward, um, you know we're expecting a little bit more. But uh, it just just. Another good game to win, and it'll be a proper game against a pro, you know, a proper football club, who's going to come here and trade blows with us, you know, punch for punch. So there'll be no excuse after the game for playing against a team that sits off and, you know, wants to kind of just park up because it's Yeovil. Because I'm sure Notts County and Neil would have said many a time this year the pretty similar thing to myself. And I'm really looking forward to it. The first game was a really good game and, you know, that could have swung either way. I know we won the game in the end. The scoreline looks like it's comfortable, but let me tell you, on the sideline, it wasn't comfortable. It was, uh, there was squeaky bum time for, for quite a few moments. So, no, it should, be, it should be a good one. And like I said, you know, it's a proper game of football. It almost brings us back to, to the days in the football league, doesn't it? You know, it's two, mm-hmm. two bigger clubs and, and a really exciting one. And I'm glad, I'm glad we pulled... Someone like Notts County out in in this draw, and even <laughs> more pleased that we pulled them out at home. Mm, because looking at the draw, I mean, a lot of the you would say more favoured sides are, are drawn against each other as well, aren't they? So it's an open competition. Well, only, unfortunately, I only know our draw um, because I'm absolutely useless at fixtures and league tables and nonsense like that. Um, but I'm I'm really looking forward to. It. I think Neil's just you know smashing chap and 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 his staff are, and they they do things you know in a really really professional way. Um, at a good club and um, I hope people are saying they're probably not saying that they might be saying before the game that we're professional and a good club but afterwards they're probably saying what an absolute raving lunatic but I don't care <laughs> Silverware obviously very important anyway isn't it regardless of whatever it is and this is a, a, a good competition to go and win so from your point of view to get your hands on a trophy at the end no, of it yeah absolutely I mean Terry always talks really well of this this competition it's the first time since playing that I've been in this in this competition um, but Terry always talks really really fondly of the year that I think they, I, don't, I don't think they went up they won the trophy and then went up the following year so he he looks at that as a um, you know he looks at it as a springboard um, and, and and he's got fond memories obviously being you know one of the big leaders in that in his dressing room he, he looks at those days with you know, with real excitement, and and if he can recreate them with this group, he'd be delighted. And and because he speaks so enthusiastically about it, you know, I kind of, I kind of, it's kind of like a bit of a team talk to me. I'm like, God, I'd love, God, I'd like that too. Yeah, definitely. So, you know, I, I I like the sound of Wembley. I like the sound of winning. Um, I, I absolutely love the way it feels, mm. and I ain't felt enough of that lately. And um. And uh, no, we, we just want to keep. We just want to keep trying to win every game. Yeah, because I mean, a lot will be made about priority being to get back in the football league and so on. But your priority, your say, well, is the next game. Well, yeah, I mean, we. I've got to have a bit of a head on in terms of, um, and uh, you know, and, and manage it intelligently because we've got the game Tuesday, and so I've got to make sure I manage that. You know, mm. we are. We have got players that have either just come into the the squad who aren't quite optimal yet in terms of fitness. We've got lads who've come back from suspension that still need some 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 time. Uh, and an injury, sorry, 
Um, and I'm going to have to manage that. I'm going to have to manage that, especially with the older players. I mean, Charlie Lee has been playing with 15 injuries from from, from August onwards. So, you know, I've got to be careful with Chaz and, uh, and, and a few others, a few others. But I will be playing as strong a side as I can without the, you know, to the detriment of playing Tuesday against Harrogate. Yeah, and, and you say about it being here at Hewish Park, I mean, it's key to get home advantage, isn't it? I mean, how, how big is that in a couple of Well, it's only, it's only good to have home advantage if, if, the, if the home support are with you, mm. you know, and, and, and they've been brilliant for us, absolutely brilliant for us. And I really, I, I, re, I don't mention them much, but I really like, what what's the stand opposite the dugout? Is that the East stand? Uh, screw fix. Screw fix. The screw fix stand. So the screw fix stand, I, I like the way they, you know, they... They clap at the end of every game and show an appreciation. And I hope they see that we've shown an appreciation to them by walking. You know, we walk all the way round, and I try and make sure we clap. The whole, all the boys clap everyone, but the, the support has been has been terrific. And you know, they've got to stay um, grounded mm. to to what we're trying to do and to what we're trying to do and what we're trying to achieve. We need a load and load of good energy, a load and load of good luck from the big man. And, um, and and they play a huge part in this. And they play a huge part. And if they come Saturday with um, an assumption that, you know, the players are going to give everything they've got, that's great. Bring that energy. This group of players are going to give me everything I've got. I'm going to go and watch a group of boys that really try their art and sold out for Yeovil. <clears throat> and, uh, and, and, and they support with that type of um, uh, energy, uh, vigour. It's a massive advantage to us. It's a huge advantage to us. So if we can if we can bring all that together, and we know we've got the biggest part to play in all that by you know kicking into life as early as possible, you know imagine if that, that early chance again you know for Murph on Saturday would have gone in the way that picks up the ground, and then the next chance is a uh, that picks up the ground and and so on rather than it snowballing the other way and mm. oh another one gone another one gone another one da, 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 da. so um, you know I think I think when we bring that together when the players the staff uh, and the supporters bring that that real enthusiasm to a huge part I think I think it's a wonderful place to play it is no better it's certainly no better for me um, and we you know we're do, we're doing our absolute best to um, to give them as much as we can yeah, all good. the time yeah good luck Darren thank you. You talk about the, the trophy. That was I only just joined the club when we got to the trophy final last last time over the park, and it it brought such a wave of enthusiasm to the yeah. club. That the, the, you know, the closer we got, the closer we got, and it's, yeah. oh, she's great, and it really built. So if we could do that again this year, I'm sure it would help you with the league as well. Yeah. You know, just well, the, 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 it brings I just the... I just don't think you can pick and choose when you want to win. No, I think winning is either a mentality that is within, or or it, uh, you know people who want to focus more on this rather than that they're not winners they're you know they're people who pick and choose and winning is so hard to do it's so hard to win something such an effort such a you know a journey um, of peaks and troughs but I don't I've never picked or chose when to win I just want to win all the time and again I'll go back to the, the Somerset games because I think when you know the first team staff had ones uh, taking the games and they're taking first team players with them which I don't think Terry said to me you're the first manager in 22 years I've seen to do a Somerset County Cup game I said well that's madness really because I, I don't want to pick and choose when I want to win I want to win everything so I think it's that attitude and it's that energy during the course of a season and that's what leadership is in my opinion leading the way showing the way um, I think that's really important to a group of players and it, and it, and it definitely means you mean business, um, and we're at very much the business end now. Mm -hmm. So it's important that we, I, uh, very much stand up in front and, and and make sure I pave that way for the players and and hopefully all the supporters. Um, what's the injury situation like at the moment? Anybody likely to be back? Yeah, um, we Nelson's getting closer. He's getting closer, so he might be able to be involved Saturday. I'm hoping he'll be involved Saturday. Uh, like I said, Charlie has struggled all week um, so far. He, he might train partly today. Um, the four forwards are okay. Uh, Lawson is still injured. Uh, Golden Mateo is still injured. Uh, apart from that, everyone is, I think, good to go. So, uh, you know, the, the, the thing for me at the moment, and what I'm trying really hard to do, 
within our resource, within our ability, is is you know we've lost Lawson, we've lost James Tilly, and we've not we've not had another midfield player in. Um, but we're having to work within a. What are the correct words here? Um, a certain budget, <laughs> uh, and uh, and we're trying to replace obviously. Tills and Lawson, who had so much creativity in them, so much, you know, really sort of bright, inventive players. Lawson was a, a really wonderful, um, appreciative passer of the ball. So normally when you got a pass off Lawson, he played you it like he'd want it, like how he wanted to receive it or what he'd seen for you to receive and how he wanted you to go about the next bit, which is a really intelligent, a real, sorry, football intelligence. Until he had that lovely, manipulative, mischievous, dip in, dip out ability. And we've missed them. We have missed them. We have. And, it, and it's meant we've, uh, the, the, sometimes the style, but also the direction of our players had to change. Um, back to plan Bs, aren't we? <laughs> we were talking about plan B. <laughs> plan Bs. Do me a favour. <laughs> and um, and uh, so, you know, we, we're still trying to replace that and we're still trying to work with certain championship clubs. Um, to identify and hopefully provide an experience for their young players in the same way we did for James. Um, but that's, that's, that's taking longer than I thought. And when I speak to clubs and I say, um, we really haven't got anything to, to give you, I don't think they believe me at times, but they do when I say I can't do it for that, I'm afraid. So it's a, it's a, real, um, it's a real thorough process. One that I expect to still achieve, you know, I still expect to achieve the objective of bringing in a creative midfield player. But beggars can't be choosers. We're having to kind of, you know, sieve through the market and try and try and grab what we can. And I want these young players coming back in now because I think they give it that, you know, that fearlessness. And fearlessness at the business end is it's gold dust, absolute gold dust. Is there any light at the end of the tunnel as far as Lawson's concerned then for this season? Um, Lawson is. Yeah, I think there's still hope, right? For I mean, probably looking at if we were to be involved in some sort of playoff situation or trophy final, um, we'd it'd probably be that sort of end of it. Um, that would probably be his only hope. But we are working with hope, and hopefully Lawson's got hope. I mean, Charlie had the same injury at Stevenage when he played for me, and, but Charlie is like pff, nothing. He's not human, <laughs> so. Um, he, uh, he he recovered, you know, after a couple of months, maybe two and a half months, and managed to play the last few games of the season. So I, I have hope, you know, I really do. I never lose hope with, with, with stuff, with, with those timelines, unless it's that horrible ACL or, you know, yeah, some nasty well. fractures. I, I never lose hope on that because the human body reacts differently to, you know, to different people. Finally, from me, um, Premier League are having a a week off or fortnight off or whatever it is what's your thoughts on it do you think it should be carried down for every league what and play f like 16 games <laughs> in the first 12 days in the National League <laughs> <laughs> it's absolute barbaric as it is um, uh, I don't really I don't really know what I think I've, I don't think I've ever really thought about it um, you know it's like there's lots of players in the Premier League. I, I wouldn't even begin to try and guess what percentage it is, but they have international breaks off, don't they? International mm -hmm. friendlies and qualifiers, they have that off. Mm -hmm. You know, again, having been at a Premier League club, it was a it felt like there was a lot of time off. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, the demand the demand in football is the same in any league and in any team. You want your best players out there as often as you can. Obviously. As we work down the divisions, the best players in the top teams they have to play in their summer break, don't they? Because they play in the tournaments and and and, and the national, uh, sorry, the international and European tournaments. But how many games do they play in a year? Only play thirty-eight games. Uh, uh, sorry, don't even play that, do they? Thirty-six games. Thirty-eight in the Premier League. Thirty-eight, thirty-eight yeah. games. So we've done that by September. <laughs> So all the more reason for you to have a break then. <laughs> yeah, look, I just, I just think in terms of our program, I, I have no idea why they don't spread it out. I just, I have no idea. I've just, it's carnage. I mean, absolutely carnage to, to play all them games in August when you just come out of your, your um, period of 
let's get fit to play, you've then got to go like that. I mean, <coughs> pretty stupid in my eyes, but hey, there'll be, there'll be someone else listening that gives a penalty against us now. 